brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you inside door handle replacement. We're going to do the passenger's front on this 2007 uh, Audi A4, and this procedure is probably similar for uh, A4s and S4s. Items we'll use a flat blade screwdriver, both regular and small size, Phillips screwdriver, T20 Torx driver, and also pliers, glue, hammer, and a flashlight can be helpful, and you'll see how we use them on this vehicle. Should be a panel covering your battery. Remove that, then disconnect the negative terminal on your battery. Remove the trim panel using your flat blade screwdriver. Then locate the six Phillips head screws that hold the door panel on. There's one underneath the panel, four behind the trim panel you removed, and one underneath the armrest. There should be a cap that you pry off to access the screw. Remove the six screws using your Phillips head screwdriver. The bottom screw sometimes doesn't come out. You can still remove the panel without taking it out. Now unclip the panel. Sometimes plastic clips may come loose and fall out. We'll show you what to do with those later. Carefully pull the panel up and off and remove the door handle cable. And then use your flathead screwdriver to loosen and remove the harness from the window motor. And finally remove the speaker harness from the speaker. If the screw on the bottom of the panel didn't come out, use a pair of pliers to remove it. You might need to use a hammer to tap the clip back into the door. You might also want to glue in any clips that fell out during the panel removal. On the back of the door panel, you'll want to unplug your power window switch. There's just a little tab that you press and pull that out. And then nine T20 Torx screws hold the armrest in place. And now you can remove that armrest. Turn the door panel back over. Disconnect the door lock switch. Push down on that little tab and pull. And then the LED light, just twist it slightly and pull out. Remove the T20 screw that holds the door lock in, or the door handle in place. Push your door lock through and then pull down on the handle while you pry the tab that locks it in place. Install the new handle, put it in place. When you're putting the handle in, you want to just make sure this tab comes all the way over the plastic here so the handle can go back. And reconnect your lock and uh, the courtesy light. You might want to push on the back side. I'm pushing with the screwdriver just to hold that lens in place. Reinstall the T20 Torx screw, put the armrest back in place on the door panel, and then turn around onto the back side. And we'll fast forward here as we just put those uh, nine screws back in and tighten them up. Reconnect the harness. Reinstall the speaker wire harness and the power window harness. And reattach the door handle cable. Make sure the lip of the door panel sits inside the groove of the door. Put 
push the panel down firmly and then lock all other clips back into place. Reinstall the six Phillips head screws. Finally, clip the trim piece back into place. You can now reconnect your battery and replace the panel. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this video helped you out. Next time you need parts for your car, please visit 1AAuto.com. Also check out our other helpful how-to as well as diagnosis videos.